Hello viewers, welcome to Moist Tea Gaming. This is a game between myself and the strongman. Again, here you are, Bap. Hello. <laughs> He's being a dick. So in a, this was a very, very tense start. As you can see, we're both trying to take the middle of this big chunk of land here, which you'd expect. As you, Yeah, this went on for a little while. I'll zoom it forward. <laughs> this was a brilliant yeah. game. This could have gone either way for a long time. Very long time. So we're at times four now. Right. Jesus. So Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> Jesus. So <laughs> Bat was wondering how the hell I got all those factories straight away. Oh, you went for the rocket straight up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I got rocketed. I wish I put it closer. It... Look at the range on it. Uh -huh. oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. I got in the bloody mountains, but you didn't. Well, I, I did. Right a... Well, <laughs> so viewers. Oh, God damn it. I purposely only captured three territories in the beginning, so. Because in the beginning, each territory you capture cost you two hundred dollars. So I saved myself um, about six hundred dollars there to get more factories built straight away. Because I knew this was going to be a land a land grab of hell going straight up. So at the moment, it looks like I've got a you, huge advantage. You know what I was expecting? What? I was expecting you to be a lot closer, right? And I would be able to launch your ro the rocket and destroy all your buildings. Right. That was my honest plan. But it didn't work because you were, you were too far away from my rocket. Oh, so irritating. <laughs> Every plan I come up with just goes horribly wrong. <laughs> it just goes to shit. So, I mean, look how far away. Oh, God. Well, at the moment, VAP has more income, probably just from capturing territory a little bit quicker. But I've got a lot more factories. And they're all running around, a bit disorganised, just capturing this territory here. Bap has his rocket knee to build, but he doesn't really have that many troops, just a few infantrymen, and starting to build the odd thing, and he's deciding to capture all that up there as a back wing, which is as you'd expect. So at this point, I'm just concentrating on capturing this. Bap, what's going through your mind at this point? Because I can only see that you've just been there. Really. Um, I thought your buildings would be in the mountains, so I thought, oh, I'll launch it Oh, into that the is an early rocket. No recon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah I was oh, taking a good. risk. It looked good there. I was like, but it's going to be in the... But look, there was wow. nothing there. Wow, there was actually and that, nothing and there. And that annoyed me. I was like, if you were to build so in there... That rocket there. cost you 500 quid, and you got nothing in return. Wow, that... That was very good on my perspective, I think, for not building there. Because that would be too obvious. But I did. Look, look at that! Look I, how close I was! I only didn't really build there because I didn't have the territory. That I, I only had these three. So it, it may have worked. And this is where you start panicking with factories. So you've got what? One, two, three, four, five. Five barracks on the go and a, and a normal factory. I've got two, three, four. I've got five barracks as well, but two factories. I had to wait a little while before I actually got some more money in. So I'm only at 500 income now, whereas you're at. Oh, I've overtook you. Force. Yeah, you're nearly at 500, so it's still very close. And you're just right. going for one big thrust. At this point, I've realised that, well, I can either spend more money on building these industries up and such or I can move over here and, t and transport so I'm just basically holding you off I do I do a lot of micro with my artillery on this one I used it pretty well whereas you just kind of threw everything in <laughs> I, I did that with them uh, the infantry I just had them sprawling around but the artillery itself, I protected them. But I was also aware that you had a rocket somewhere. Such a bastard. 
<laughs> Could you see that? Uh, see, you can't see any of that. I wanted to hide it. I wanted to make it look weaker so you go for it. <sighs> Which it looked like it did. So I've got quite a lot there. You can't even see those. I actually cancelled all my barracks so I could get money for another rocket. And there it is. No! Uh, and then I started them all up again. Wow. But then I realised I didn't have enough energy. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> So I built energy in the north, which you destroyed later, which really, yeah, that's... Yeah, that was it. I still haven't transported over yet, still capturing territory here. Uh, myself, I'm on 608, whereas you are now on 548, but I've run out of room, and you've still got all that to go. But you're sending everything down there, you're keeping the pressure on. I try and go for a bit of a push-up here. At this point, I've built the dockyard. Wait, it was there? Yeah, just there. You're joking, I didn't see that on mine, I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm just blind as a bat. Listen. <laughs> so you oh, you can't really see what I've got still. All of a sudden you've got loads of artillery coming at you. And this uh, massive infantry here that I've got coming towards your left. I wanted to keep you distracted there, make sure I shoved you. So I built two more barracks here. Just to keep pushing the units that way to keep you back so you didn't see it. And also it would help with the transport, so I literally just built two little landing craft there with the starter fuel that you get. You actually didn't have as much as what you thought, well what I thought you did, sorry. At this point, anyway, I thought I was going to get you. Cause I really My energy look, started getting the energy again. Oh god, these rockets were just shockingly shit. Yeah, you had to you had to pump money into getting those um, power plants up, yeah. which cost you some land. As I started pushing, yeah. I was being very cautious with the the artillery I had because I knew if I lost that, then you the can, thing is, you could just I didn't. Me. I lost money at the start because I didn't take out some serious on your side. That's all it was. Mm. I invested in a rocket in the hopes that you would be. Right next to you. In yeah, with like all your buildings clumped together, and I'd like, oh, rocket right there, bang, game over, you know. But yeah. you were you were too far away, and yeah, I, I invested in that. Another, here's another that, rocket. I mean, look how shit this rocket was. It was just fucking off. Yeah, I it, have, it, I, it did I had my units spread out too much. It's not that I sent them in the wrong areas. Well, like, that. I even saw. I even saw that you had artillery in those mountains, but I thought they'd be in the woods, that that big wood bit there. Yeah. I thought that you'd had a shit ton in there, but that was not. Well, that's decept and deception again, though, isn't it, really? You could have probably done some recon. Uh, at this point, it really looks like I'm going to get you just there. Mm. Just looking at it. But if you think, actually, I don't have that much myself neither, apart from this artillery blob. That was me. That was my fallback line, almost. I wanted to keep that yeah. safe, and I thought, right, I'm going to spend some money up here and capture all this. That's going to be my next money earner. Because I knew if you started pushing here, because I've spent money up here and not down here, you would probably start pushing back. Which is what happened. Because when you built uh, the rocket, for example, I started pushing you back. Because the money wasn't going into it anymore. So at this point, I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to stop you. I thought you'd start steamrolling. So I just. Yeah, I thought I'd try and get what I can up here. I'll zoom it forward a little bit. This is where I start micromanaging, micromanaging the artillery. I've actually got it all in that line. And you, you can see I've got things there, but you don't know to what scale. Yeah. And then you went for uh, another rocket, your rocket's nearly done. You've got a few batteries now though. You're building up those barracks and things. It just wasn't enough. You had too much at that point. I think it just... Oh, and then there, this there, is first really contact annoying. here. Put a barracks down there. You had money for a barracks over there as well. Money? Like, look your money. I'm just... on 704. You're on 720. You're the same as me. Oh. Wow. Another rocket. That, that was, was a much better. That yeah, was a much better. Rock. That was I much better. That. 
but it, my I, first two I just wasted. I don't think it was significant. Uh, yeah, that's it. The first two were fired in the wrong place for sure. Like if I wiped out your early force, for example, instead of trying to find your buildings to go for a cheap shot. I see you had no. Oh, you actually took a factory out there, and I didn't even realise. You know, I yeah. never knew that. But I have yeah. moved my arty up at this point to try and push you, like constrain it, so I can get control of this back. So I did not want you flanking me. This is where you start building up there. Yeah, that was a bit of a bastard move. You took out another barracks. I had to replace the one that you destroyed up here. I swapped it for another factory, though. Say, I was worried at this point now that you were just going to overrun me. And then I didn't see tanks for a while, but I definitely heard them. But I was building up uh, more <laughs> barracks up here. You had three barracks there. Yeah, I was going to go uh. for the backhand shove down here and just work my way around. So at this point... I was just concentrating on holding you, well, buying myself as much time as I could. See, on this southern flank here, you really started pushing me there. I and mean, I if you think about it, I wasted £1,000 on rockets, and they were wasted. Yes. Only one, only one rocket killed two of your factories, and that just shows that it needs to be just luck that you're in the right place if you build it. Pretty much. Uh, you've got nothing up there. I'm just taking all of this. You'll be losing money. Uh, I'm on 956. Yeah. You're on 704 still, so it's going down. But you, yeah, was, you, uh, you were winning. You were winning here. Those tanks were doing the damage, and I seen those, as soon as I saw those power plants there, that I thought, yeah, that'll neutralize that. Yeah. Uh, and I was actually beginning to push you at the top. And I thought I could just keep delaying and delaying, holding that back. This is where I attack your power plants. Yeah, so... Oh, I've wow, got yeah. quite a force there as well, and they kept coming. I was going to come out behind you and then squash you in two. I was coming. I'd have held that. Just for that was a good match. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Oh, I never noticed I had two men down here all this time. Must have been a surprise when you saw the rocket coming in. <laughs> that was definitely a surprise. I was not <laughs> expecting that at all. I was so glad that that missed. <laughs> so glad. Honestly, if that had hit, that would have been it there and then. I don't think I'd have been able to withstand any attacks by that point. Definitely not. Hmm. That would have been a mess. And if I had to keep pushing as well... Because if I didn't, then you would have just rocketed me again and gone straight through the gap. So I had no choice but to try and keep pushing and distracting. And that's why I thought, well, I can't get enough units built up here without the risk of that rocket. And I wanted the money up here anyway. That's a lot of money up there. It's more, yeah. it's more land than you think, to be honest, that top yeah. part. So that actually gained me a, another... 400, 300 income, and that's only up to here. Yeah. And by this yeah. point, you were at 700, but you did take back quite a few of these territories here. My original plan was, before you blacklisted me in that area... <laughs> Which area? To put, this uh, one? Just in the middle. Just in the middle of the map, where, we, where we're fighting. Yeah, that forest right there. Oh, I was yeah, going to yeah. put a, a rocket right there. Oh, right. And that would have covered the entire area. Yeah, right. that would have been nasty. But I had to put it in the corner of a map, and I had to gamble on if you'd be closer or further away, and it turns out you were further away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was... Mm. Yeah. Lessons to be learned? Yep. Well, anyway, I have to get going, so... Yes. All right, viewers, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, the actual gameplay video is online as well, will be after this um, as well. Uh, I hope you watch that or any other Lime War videos we've got. We've also got the Devourers, which are absolutely hilarious. By this point, you, there would have been about four more that have come up, or five. And another one called Fear Therapy. That was just atrocious, if you're into that sort of game. That was... 
that was just I don't ever want to talk about that game ever again. Yeah, it was disgusting. Please make was... sure to subscribe to get the content that is being provided here. It is one of a kind. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.